Okay, this was an unplanned video uh, because I'd never visited the website of the manufacturer of my PMA on my wind turbine before. Uh, normally, I just uh, go on eBay and purchase the PMA. Now, originally, I started purchasing uh, the equipment from Missouri Wind and Solar. Now, Missouri Wind and Solar, uh, I still use the, the blades, the hub, and the tail and all the mounting hardware, the bracket uh, that it all mounts to, uh, is all still from the original uh, Missouri, uh, wind and, uh, Missouri Wind and Solar uh, setup. Uh, now, the PMA that I bought from them was all right. Um, and let's see if I can find the new one here. What the hell is this? All right. Um, okay, as you can see, um, uh, this is one of the worst websites out there. Um, let me um, <laughs> where uh, Hornet. Here we are. Okay. So, all right. As you can see, this is kind of an archaic website. Uh, I have never visited their website before uh, today. Actually, I was doing some research on the upcoming wind turbine video that I'm going to do. And I wanted to look at all the different components I use and do a little research on each one. And that took me to their website. And I didn't realize uh, this is what their website looked like. So uh, does kind of look like a 15 year old kid uh, made this website a couple of decades ago, but uh, whatever, we're not gonna critique the website today. Anyway, uh, the, uh, anyway, <laughs> uh, this is the actual unit that I'm using, the max core unit. And you can see they've got um, some illustrations here of pictures here of the, uh, the core and how it's got more windings and whatever. All right, it does seem to work and uh, it does make quite a bit of power and I'm pretty satisfied with this, this particular product, but when I visited the site, I also noticed uh, their charge controllers. And let me go over here. For some reason, when you go from hydrogen appliances.com and click on any of these wind links, it takes you to Wind Turbine USA. I don't know how they're associated. Uh, at any rate, um, charge controllers for wind turbines. I'm not really sure that you could call these a charge controller. Um, let's just grab one of these just at random. Uh, so what this is, uh, so there's a little bit of electronics in this white box here. And I suspect what's in there is a little bit of electronics and then a small relay probably that controls, is probably connected to these white wires to control this large relay. And all this thing is doing is watching your battery voltage. And when the battery voltage gets up to a set point, it turns on this relay. And when it gets below a set point, it turns this relay back off. So what it's doing, and if we look, <clears throat> excuse me, if we look back at their site and, and how they illustrate this to work for their, what they're talking about, their simple 12 volt dump system. And uh, here's, here's their dump load resistor, resistor bank or resistor, depending on the size of the system. And there's this charge controller, you know, quote unquote charge controller and the relay and they're going to put this load directly across the battery every time that voltage gets a point above a certain uh, set point oh and don't forget there's a fuse in line 
got to have that for safety. But if that fuse blows, the system completely stops working. And if you're not home and that fuse blows, forget it. You're no longer uh, controlling your system. Uh, yeah, so don't do this. This is awful. Um, archaic is the word that comes to mind. Um, yeah, okay, here we go. Here's what it looks like. So, yeah, I don't see... Uh, yeah, so I don't know exactly how it works in there, but it's just, it's just watching the voltage. It's all it's doing, just watching the voltage and clicking on and off. And that's all it's doing. It's a extremely, extremely low tech way, uh, to do this. So I would not recommend using these things. Uh, certainly, uh, their, uh, their PMAs are perfectly good. I've, had good experience with them but uh don't buy one of these charge controllers if i was to recommend one i think if you've seen my other videos you would know that i'm going to recommend the classic uh from midnight solar uh it seems like the only way to go if you've got a small wind turbine uh as far as i'm concerned um they do also uh have actually let's let's bop over to midnight MidnightSolar.com. So, uh, all right, um, the charge controllers. All right, I don't have my glasses on. Bear with me for a moment. Oy. Okay, so as you can tell, solar companies' websites, maybe a decade <laughs> or more behind <clears throat> behind everybody else. <clears throat> All right. Uh, charge controller, classic. This is what I use for my charge controller here. Um, now, I would never spend these kinds of dollar figures on one of these charge controllers. You can always find them. The 150, typically, I look for it for about $600. Um, and yeah, that's a heck of a lot more than you're going to pay for one of these, um, charge controllers over here. Um, I don't understand. It says shipping 79.95 and then it says plus 19.95 shipping and handling. I think they want to say that it's 80 bucks plus $20 shipping and handling. I don't know. Like I say, their website, um, 15 year old 10 years ago maybe more okay so uh classic 150 or classic 200 i'm currently using a classic 250 i got a good deal on there is no chance i spent anywhere near this amount of money for it um you can you can find this stuff a lot cheaper uh so yeah uh this is what i use the classics and yeah they're more expensive they're a lot more expensive but to use something like this is just to say I do not care about my battery bank. Just my opinion. I wouldn't use one. And uh, I guess I will do a video about how to set up uh, the Midnight Classic for wind with a DIY uh, dump load like I've set up. Because uh, you can get, uh, let's see if we can find it. Uh, I think it's called a clipper. And nothing came up. <laughs> um, seriously, uh, are we better off just going to Google? I, I think we might be. Okay, did I spell it wrong? I'm terrible at that. Ah, bingo. All right. So Midnight Solar does have a clipper and this is their dump load. This is essentially the same thing I built except uh, more expensive. So uh, as I said, more expensive. Um, 
$2,150. And this thing, the 1.5K AC Clipper comes with standard, comes standard with two ohms of resistance per phase. All right, so the way they're doing it is they're using uh, three resistors, one for each phase. Uh, so they're actually doing this before the uh, rectifier, and I'm doing it after the rectifier. Uh, so that's how, that's why they have the three set up here is because they have a three-phase system, three-phase turbine coming in, and they're taking each phase through its own uh, resistor. Uh, it's pretty sophisticated, actually. Uh, pretty pretty nifty. Uh, pretty expensive. I mean, a uh, couple of grand for essentially a box of resistors with some electronics in it. Now, granted, that's sophisticated electronics. It's got um, pretty pretty good stuff in here. Um, looks like we've got a, a three-phase AC solid-state relay right here. You can see that's connected to the one end of the resistors here. And then on the other side of the rectifier, they've, they've got it just shorted. You can see it's a bar across all three um, terminals. So when the power, which is just on these, at this end of the resistors will be connected in some way to the each phase of the AC coming in from the turbine. And then when uh, the signal is sent, uh, via this line here, it looks like, to the solid state relay, it is going to then take the power and just short these all together. So these phases are going to go, you know, in each of these resistors and short, and that's going to dump your power through these three resistors all <clears throat> extremely evenly. Uh, so that's actually pretty sophisticated, although on the AC side of it, they're probably going to have to deal with some transient voltages from uh, uh, inductance, but I imagine they have uh, circuitry in there that will deal with that, although I don't see where, but, you know, it's probably in there. Uh, also, I believe that when they set up the uh, Classic to work with their Clipper, they also reduced the PWM output frequency to 20 hertz instead of 500. So that probably helps us uh, deal with that as well. Uh, pretty sophisticated system. Um, and this is essentially what I modeled mine off of. But of course, I'm not going on the AC side of it. I'm after the... Uh, um, I'm after the rectifier so uh it's that's a major difference between their system and mine and uh it's it's actually pretty impressive their system i actually like it quite a bit but wasn't about to drop two thousand dollars on it so that's why i came up with my own 